got here? Welcome back to Weg's Garage. We're back here working on the interior for our 1964 Triumph TR4. And we just got a package with, uh, I think, most of the parts we were missing or were wrong from the last couple weeks. So let's take a look at those. First thing here is the jute underfelt that we were missing for a lot of the rear. This is a uh, Roadster factory. Part number CUF4S. Uh, haven't really torn into that, but it does appear to be what we need to put under the carpet in the back of our car. Then we got the uh, fuzzy, the actual fuzzy door seal for the driver's side. If you remember, we have the TR6 style on the passenger side and the TR4 side style on the driver's side, and this is what we needed to uh, kind of finish that out. So that'll be nice to have around. Got some assorted rubber plugs that we needed for the floor pans. This is a seat bumper kit. This goes under the rear part of the seat. And then last but not least, we have kind of the, uh, the most important part of all, the, the one that everyone's been waiting for, which is the TR4 specific windows. We've got it here underneath the current window, and you probably saw a few shots of that a minute ago, but this thing matches up really well. Uh, the important parts to match up, of course, are this line right here, the top, the back, and the front. These little horns don't really make that much difference. These match up really well between the old and the new so we're pretty excited about that again we did end up getting this glass from the roadster factory so if you are looking for tr4 specific glass this stuff is the right size or at least it appears to be we'll be installing it here in the next couple of weeks to actually see and make sure that it fits but it does match the old window perfectly so that is awesome Okay, we got our felt kit kind of out of the package and uh, figured out where the pieces go. Kind of an aside here, a little bit of feedback for the manufacturers of interior stuff. Really, you don't have to do much, but if there's just a diagram that showed the pieces and what they look like and where each of them is supposed to go, it would really save like a little bit of time. But that's kind of a kind of an aside. Just something to think about. Anyway, we put the pad under here. Uh, fits real nice. Here it is in place. I'm not sure if this is normal here. This doesn't really have any padding behind it. You can see it's pretty tight in the corners here. So we're gonna take just a little bit of material off, maybe like a quarter inch, so it doesn't sit quite tight up against both sides. We don't really want to be able to see that under the carpet at all and I don't think it's really going to affect the fitment or, or anything like that. So we're going to take a little material off there. The other thing I think we're going to do is we're actually going to cut around this and then glue that in as a separate piece. That way this piece is essentially flat and we can fight the curve just on the one piece rather than having to make this whole thing work for that one curve. 
So that's what we're gonna start with now. We're recording. shelf carpet is in that didn't go too bad uh, I think it looks real nice we tucked everything right up against the back there definitely gives it a nice finished look so pretty happy about that the next piece we are gonna install is this firewall cover that actually goes up on the front of the car and goes around the transmission tunnel and glues to the firewall can see there's a little cutout here for the accelerator pedal shaft. This one does not have any padding on the back side, it's just glued right to the firewall, so that shouldn't take too long. It is a little tricky to get to, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Yeah, it's not the greatest fitting thing in the world. It's debatable whether this thing's needed at all. Well, you need it. Because you would see this part. I think we're just going to have to start hacking away at it. Especially over here. Like, it, it seems too long at the top to get around this corner without some relief. And then we got the bolt for the throttle stop that you got to cut around. Yep. And then this little gusset back here that also needs to be trimmed around. So turns out our easy little piece might actually be a lot of fun. No turning back. Okay. What? Okay, so after like an hour of contorting my body to fit under here, we got the firewall carpet in place. There it is. Isn't it beautiful? So I'll do a little walk around here. Here's what the average person will see of this piece of carpet that we just spent an hour getting in. Oh, oh, there's just a, a little bit. Yep, I can see it. Turns out right there, right, right there. Wow. Yeah, that one's gonna make a big difference. All right, next piece. For our final act of the day, we put some sound deadening down on the floorboards. Kind of makes our car look a little bit like a spaceship in my opinion, but eh, you know, it's a good look. Anyway, next time we'll be able to hopefully get the rest of this carpet fit, the gearbox cover carpet, the transmission tunnel, 
gets a little bit more complicated there with some snaps and some other things that uh, we need to do a little bit more research on. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. It means a lot having everybody watch every week. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, do all that good stuff. That's all the time we got for today. We'll see you next time. Later. Like a knife, or do you want to struggle with that for a while? I love struggling with it.